everyone, Jamie here. Uh, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use those cameos you got for Christmas that are still sitting in the box. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do it on Inkscape. Uh, if you watch my past video, you know that Inkscape is a free program that you are able to actually design items on to be able to cut on your cameo. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, that's fine. You know, you can buy the images off of the silhouette site you can find free images on like miss kate cuttables you know they're, they're all out there you know you can find anything but if you want to step it up a notch and you want to make your own cards you know your own images your own everything else and you want to be super awesome this is going to be the way to do it um inkscape is kind of like illustrator but it's free illustrator is not free um I'm a total whiz at Illustrator, but I'm not a whiz at Inkscape. So if I have any blunders during the video, don't judge me. Don't judge me. I'm learning as long as with you guys are. Because um, I want to be able to teach everyone how to use Inkscape. So that's it. Uh, what we're going to do is hopefully you've already installed Inkscape. And you've installed your Silhouette program. I know, you got to open the box. It seems scary, but it's not. So, if both of them are installed, see, Silhouette Program, Inkscape Program, you're going to open up your Inkscape. Inkscape is all done in pixels. So, you have to change it into inches or you're going to have no idea what's happening. And to do that, you're going to go to File, Document Properties, and you're going to change, in general, your default units. This is a drop down menu. You can go inches, centimeters, pixel points, millimeters, meters, and you know, whatever you want to put it as where you're more comfortable with. I'm more comfortable with inches. Uh, so I'm going to obviously press inches. And you're going to close out of that. And as you see here, I have my piece of paper. It's an eight and a half by 11 piece. So I'm going to make a Project Life card, a 3 by 4 journal card. In order for me to do that, I'm going to grab this rectangle right here and out of my toolbox. That's what this guy is right here on the side. He's a toolbox. And I'm going to draw my square. Alrighty. As you see, it's here. No, it is not 3 by 4 That's what I'm going to show you guys now. This part here, this is a change. This is going to allow you to make a precise measurement of what you would like it to be. So I'm going to change it right here because this is all in pixels. You guys can't read this right now. This doesn't make any sense to you. You have to change it to inches. And what you're going to do is you're going to come down here to this drop down. And you're going to change it inches, meters, centimeters, pixel points. If you can, you know, if that's what you're used to. Or I'm used to inches, so it's going to stay inches. Whatever I edit here is going to happen here. So I want my card to be three inches wide by four inches high. And I'm going to press enter. It's there. It is three inches wide by four inches high. All right. And whenever you're designing something in Inkscape, you want to make sure that you're doing it in black and white. There's a reason because it's going to be easier for the actual image to trace. So again, black and white, design everything in black and white. All right. So rectangle, I'm going to make it black. All righty. Now, I can cut out just like this on the cameo, and I will have a 3 by 4 rectangle. Well, it's kind of great, right? But you can do that with a regular paper cutter. I want to have something inside the card. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to have my card, and then I'm going to have a circle in my card with the word in the circle. It's a lot easier than it sounds. So I'm going to grab my circle tool. Right here is the pink guy, and I'm going to make a circle. Alrighty. And because, you know, this is not going to make any sense to the program, you're going to want to have to make a white needle. And then you're going to grab it and drag it over the card. Obviously, that's a little too large. So I'm going to make it. There you go. I have to make it a little bit larger. This is all up to you. This is a preference. It's not a science. You know, try it. Cut it out. If it works, great. If it doesn't, that's all right, too. Because we're learning. We want to learn. My 
circle is not really a circle, it's kind of like an odd oval, whatever, it works. All right, and then, so as of right now, if I send this to cut on the Cameo, it is going to be a black rectangle with a circle missing. So I want to add a word in here. So I'm going to come over here to my toolbox, left side toolbox, and you're going to grab this A right here. Click anywhere you want. You know, it could be off to the side or it could be on the image. Whatever's more comfortable. I work off image and move into the image. And you can write your name, you can write a word, you can put initials, whatever you want. I'm going to just put love. All right. And I'm then going to select the entire image because I'm going to change the font. All right. So once everything's selected, I'm going to come up here to this black T. And I'm going to change the font. Um, if you have a certain font you want to use, you know, that you know will work really well, go ahead and use it. I'm going to go ahead and go with Pacifico. Pacifico is a very thick font, so I know I'm going to have no problem cutting it on the actual Cameo. So, grab it. If I can find it. Pacifico, Pacifico. We're in the N's, we're in the O's, we're in the P's. There it is, Pacifico. Alrighty. Ooh, that's tiny. And this is your preview right here. This is how big it's going to be. So let me just move it to 48. It'll be easier for me to see it. Alright, so I grabbed my font. I changed my size. I can turn it normal or italic. Now let me actually put it on italic. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. And here's my preview. As you see, it's a, it's a little small. But you can make it larger or smaller. And then I'm going to press apply. Apply means you're going to apply the following changes onto the text that you've had selected. Apply. As you see, it changed it. So we're going to X it out. All right. I can make this larger just by pulling on the corners. And how I do that is by grabbing here. This is my selection tool. And I'm going to grab the corner right here. Just like that. Now, this is the part that will matter the most. If your image is going to cut out with just a circle with the word love in it, or if you're going to have a rectangle with the word love in it. When you want the rectangle with the word love in it, you have to make sure that your text is attached to the word or attached to the box. That's why I wanted everything black and white. All right. If I cut it just like this, just the way it is right now, I'll have a rectangle with a circle in it. And then I'll have a circle with the word love in it. Not exactly what I'm going for. Granted, it would work, but not what I'm going for. I want to have a rectangle with the word love in it. So I'm going to grab my corners. And you want your text to touch the edges. Okay? So right there, I will then get a rectangle with the word love in it. Alright? So then what you're going to do is you're going to select the whole thing. You're going to go over here to object. I'm sorry, path. You're going to go to path. Hold you. Path. And you're going to go trace bitmap. Right. And then you're going to press OK. It already did it. Um, now, when I do this, I just want to double check and make sure that everything's going to be all right. So I go object, group. And then I do it one more time. There we go. Okay, so then once I've grouped this and I have traced it, the next point is to save it. Um, you want to save it so it's going to import on the Cameo program. So you're going to go File. Export bitmap. Don't change anything. Um, I mean, you, you can if you really want to, but I would suggest not doing it because you may screw something up. And just press export. All right, you're going to exit out. Minimize. And here it is. It's right here. It's hanging out. All right. So now I'm going to open up my Cameo program. And I'm going to import it to my library by going File, Import to my library, 
dropping the Silhouette Studio down to all files. And then finding my image, which is right here. And pressing OK. From here, I'm just going to name it Love One. And then press OK. It's in. So I'm then going to go to my library. And here it is. I'm going to double click on it. This is your cutting mat right here. And now it's in. Um, this should import the same as X size that it exported on, on Inkscape. And as you see from here, it's 3.010 by 4.015. So it's a little bit larger than a 3x4. So what I want to do is I want to make it just a little bit smaller than a 3x4 so there's no problem sliding it into my sleeve. And... Just a little bit. All right, that'll work. All right, and then from here, it's not going to cut this way. All right, so what you need to do is you need to trace the image so it has cut lines. To get the cut lines, you're going to come over here to this blue and yellow square right here. And you're gonna go select trace area. That's this button right here. I'm gonna click on it. You're gonna just then select the image. So you have this blue rectangle around the actual image that you need. Now you see that the yellow came in. This is what it's going to trace, all right? You don't want to trace it like this. If you trace it like this, it's going to be all crazy. It's going to get all wonky and it's not going to cut right. And then I'm going to get an email going. It didn't work. It didn't work. From here, you need to make sure your entire image is yellow. All right. The entire black part of this image needs to be yellow. And how you're going to do that is you're going to come over here to the high pass filter. And you're going to put it all the way to the most, which is going to be 25.00. See how it filled it in just a little bit more? That's not all the way filled in. This gray will end up cutting out. And then your card will look really dumb. So we don't want to do that either. So you're going to come over here to threshold, which is the third one, and then third one down, high pass, low pass, threshold. And you're going to slowly raise it until the entire black part is yellow, like this. Everything that was black is now yellow. All right. And then you're going to come over here to trace, right underneath where we selected the trace. You're going to go to this trace. It's going to be the top one. It's going to be the one with two lines in it. All right. Press trace. And now you see it. You're going to select the original image and press delete. You now have a red outlined image. This is the image that is going to cut. So if you see this image, and you see the red lines, then congratulations, because that means you completed it, and you're going to have a cuttable card. Um, once it's done like this, you're going to come over to Send to Silhouette, which looks like the little bar with an A popping out of it. That's going to let you, you know, send it to Silhouette. I don't have my Silhouette connected to my computer, but I'm going to change the settings. If I see fit, I'm going to cut chipboard, sticker paper, you know, if I'm going to go to town and start changing a bunch of things, I'm going to change my speed, my thickness, you know, where my blade needs to be. You can change all of that. But as of right now, the way it is, it will cut. You now have an image that nobody else is going to have because you made it yourself, especially for you. And maybe some friends if you decide to share, it's your call. And it's completely custom. And it was completely free. It was free to make. You know, free image. Because you made it free file because it's a free program. Alrighty. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask, message, you know, um, right away. And I will do my best to answer them. Uh, like I said, I'm not the best at Inkscape, but I know enough to get around. So if you have any questions, just ask. Thanks for watching. Bye.